In the city of Metropolis, nestled within the walls of Metropolis University, there was a freshman named Max. Max was passionate about data analytics but found himself overwhelmed by the complexities of his first major project. The project was crucial, a stepping stone in his journey to becoming a data analyst. But the sea of numbers and statistics seemed more like a puzzle than a clear one. One evening, Max sat in the university library, his laptop open to a spreadsheet filled with data, his eyes reflecting confusion and frustration. The clock ticked away going in the silent room just when Max was about to close his laptop in despair, a soft mechanical voice filled the air. Hello Max. It seems you could use some assistance with your data analysis. Startled, Max looked around and noticed a sleek humanoid robot approaching his table. Its metallic frame glimmered under the library's lights and its eyes glowed with a gentle blue hue. The name tag read Ada, which stood for Artificial Intelligence Data Assistant. Max, though initially taken aback, found comfort in Ada's calm and friendly demeanor. Yes, I'm really struggling with this, Max admitted. I have all this data, but I don't know where to start. Ada smiled and told, Let's start with the basics, shall we? Data analysis is like solving a mystery. You have clues in the form of your data and you need to find the story they tell. Patience and clarity, Ada guided Max through the process. They began with exploratory data analysis, but Ada taught Max to summarize and visualize data, revealing patterns and anomalies. Max's eyes lit up as he saw the data come to life in colorful graphs and charts. Then they dived into statistical analysis. Ada explained concepts which were complex in simple terms, making it easy for Max to grasp the principles of correlation and regression. Together, they interpreted data uncovering insights that were hidden beneath the surface. Hours passed and Max, with Ada's guidance, transformed his raw data into a compelling analytical report. The once daunting task now felt like an exciting adventure. Max had not only completed his project, but also had gained a deeper understanding of data analytics. As the first light of dawn crept into the library, Max looked at Ada with gratitude and said, Thank you, Ada. I couldn't have done this without you. You didn't just help me with my project. You've opened my eyes to the beauty of data. Ada's eyes glowed warmer, and she said, That's what I'm here for, Max. To help students like you find the stories hidden in numbers. Remember, data is not just numbers, it's a narrative waiting to be told. Max nodded, his heart full of newfound confidence and enthusiasm, as Ada quietly powered down. Max packed his things, ready to present his project, knowing that this was just the beginning of his journey in the world of data analytics. And so, in the heart of Metropolis University, a budding data analyst took his first successful step with a bit of help from his AI friend. Don't you feel that you also need an AI friend? What would you feel if I said you already have one, but you never knew? Yes, you guessed it right. And that's the topic for today. Chat GPT for data analytics. Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about Chat GPT for data analysis. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's code of various data analytics programs. And Simply Learn also offers a data analytics postgraduate program from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find the data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further ado, let's get started. So for today, we will consider one of the data set from Kaggle and try to download that and try to build a story about it.
right? And let us assume that we are in the beginning steps of data analytics, just like Max that we discussed before, and we need the help from ChatGPT. So let's quickly go to the website of Kaggle and check out some data sets. So now we are on the Kaggle website, and if we go to the data sets, we have the categories trending data sets, movies and TV shows, etc. Now let's go into the trending data sets, and we have one here which says about Glassdoor Data Science Jobs 2024, which seems to be one of the latest data sets that has been uploaded onto Kaggle. Now I think this should be a good start. And here, if you scroll down, you have some information about the data set. So we have uh, company job title company rating job description location salary average estimate salary uh, pay period company size company founded etc right we have a pretty much good data set that we have over here and we can continue with that right now we can just download this data set and try to upload this onto chat gpt and ask chat gpt for some exploratory data analysis remember we are in the stepping stone to become a data analyst and we only know the fundamentals and the complete project will be taken care by chat gpt right over here now if you open chat gpt and if you try to create a new uh, prompt let's say we are going to create a new prompt and now we are using chat gpt4 here and you can also enable plugins if you want right if you have one i have one for data analytics but anyways we'll just go with the default chat gpt4 and if you go into your user space and here you can find custom instructions but before we get started with custom instructions let me explain what exactly it is let's say chat gpt doesn't know about you or your profession but you explain chat gpt that you are a professional data analyst and you explain your terms and conditions and you explain the way you want your answer right then the chat GPT will understand what you are and what type of answers you are expecting from it and then it will give you a tailor-made answer for you right now let's try to fill out the custom instructions for your chat GPT and now I have already listed some of the custom instructions for my chat gpt so what would you like chat gpt to know about you to provide better responses and how would you like chat gpt to respond now let's copy this prompt here and go back to chat gpt and customize your instructions and now let's again go back to the text window and here let's copy the response that you expect chat gpt to give you and again paste that in this particular space and now save it there you go now you have your customized uh, instruction to chat gpt and you have clearly explained it what are you exactly looking for now we have uh, downloaded that particular data set from uh, kaggle there you go and now let's go to our downloads and try to extract that particular data that we just downloaded there you go glassdoor job postings now let's try to upload this to chat gpt let's try to create a new chat so now we have a new chat window now let's try to attach the data set that we just downloaded so let's navigate back to downloads and here you should be having the file somewhere yeah so this is this is the file that we just got extracted and here we have the last two job postings open there you go now you have the data set uploaded it looks like you've uploaded a file named last two job postings so csv how can i assist you with this file are you looking for a specific type of analysis or data processing now that your chat gpt is ready you can just tell your chat GPT that you need an exploratory data analysis of this particular data set. Hi GPT, I need your help to form a complete ADA or glassdoorjobpostings.csv. 
help me by providing some interesting charts and graphs along with your report or detailed report. Now ChartGPT will start analyzing your data and it will give you the report that you're looking for. It, it will explain you some of the several key aspects regarding your data set and what type of operations it can generate or what type of operations it can carry out and what results can it give you. It will give you a brief overview of that and then it will begin with the report. So according to the report, we can see data analyst has the highest number of job openings followed by that we have data scientists and data engineers so if you are looking to build a career out of data analysis data science and data engineering then it's the right time you have some company rating distributions location analysis and furthermore so bengaluru has the highest number of job openings followed by that we have remote operations and next hyderabad and pune are the next highest job locations and we have uh, salary estimations that should take some time there you go we have the salary estimations in terms of rupees company size and sector analysis the next one and there you go company size distribution is the next one and finally we have ratings analysis so this is about work-life balance being offered by various companies so the company with the best ratings will be the right company for you to join as a data analyst or a data engineer or data scientist there you go so i think there is some limitation for the number of words you type in one prompt so you can continue with another prompt and you will be getting the data you are looking for so that's how you can briefly understand how you can utilize chat gpt for data analytics or to be detailed exploratory data analytics for your day-to-day -day life and with that we have come to an end of this session on chat gpt for data analytics and should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require some information about the plugins that we used or the data set that we used please do let us know in the comment section below and should you feel that we missed out something important in this session please feel free to let us know so that we can improvise and help our learners grow and with that thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here